Hello guys, in this video I am going to show how you can write a simple python script to um, create a thug life meme maker. So what it will do is that it will take any image as input, right? It will detect the faces in that image and then it will paste this mask over the faces and the final result will be something like this, right? So this is what I am going to do using a simple python program. and as you can see that this is a two step process the step one is to detect the faces in the image and the step two is to paste the mask over the found faces right so for um, accomplishing the step one uh, which is to um, detect the faces i'm going to use opencv so opencv is nothing but a simple computer vision library and it's cross platform and it has interfaces for different languages it has support for python as well so i'm going to use opencv because it has something called har cascades so har cascades are the models for object detection so har cascades um, are basically um, trained for different kind of objects like um, hair eye nose and many kind of different things you can train a har cascade for anything uh, any kind of object so once you have trained a har cascade then you can use it to detect um, that particular object in any given image so we are going to use pre-trained har cascade model and you can find many pre-trained har cascade models in the github repo of opencv so here you can see that there are har cascades for eye eye glasses and for the front face of cat as well so there are a lot of um, har cascades here but what we need is the front face default so this is the har cascade that we are going to use um, for detecting the faces so you can download these xml files from here so all you need to do is that um, select the particular xml file and once it opens just select raw to get the raw version of that file and then simply you can save it so I'm saving it at my desktop. Okay, so we have downloaded a pre-trained model for um, front face detection, right? So now um, let me tell you in advance that you will need to um, install OpenCV um, by going through some tutorial. And other than that, you will also need to um, install the Python client for OpenCV using this pip command, which is OpenCV Python. Okay, and another thing is that you will need to install um, the pillow library. So we are using pillow library for pasting the mask over the input image, right? So these are the two dependencies that we are going to use. Okay, so requirements are already satisfied in my system because I will already install them. So let's get back to um, the code that we are going to write. Okay, so first of all, we need to import some dependencies which are the python client for opencv so i'm just importing it like import cv2 and from pil pil is short for pillow from pil import image okay so these are the two dependencies that we are going to need other than that i'm going to import sys okay so first of all i will need to define some paths so first of all it's image path image path is equal to sys.argv1 so what i'm going to do is that um, i'm going to run my python script through terminal so in the terminal when i write some command i will also specify the particular image um, the particular input image for which i want to make the meme right so i'm just writing it as image path is equal to sys.argv1 okay next thing is define the cascade path so i've just downloaded the um, har cascade here right so let me just copy its name dot xml and then i have to specify the path for my mask so mask path is equal to mask dot png okay so we are done with the paths okay now the next step is to create the har cascade object so for that i'm just going to define it like face cascade is equal to cv2 dot cascade classifier okay so c 
cv2 dot cascade classifier in which i have to pass the path for the cascade <coughs> which i want to use right okay so i have defined a face cascade and now it's time to read the input image right so for that i am going to define image is equal to cv2 dot m read in which i will pass uh, pass the image path so it's image path okay now the next thing is that i am going to convert my um, actual image to a grayscale image so for that i'm just going to do it like this gray is equal to um, cv2 dot cv convert color this is the function for converting the color of an image and pass the image and specify what you want to do so i want to use this color to um, bgr format to gray format right so that is what i want to do so once i have created a grayscale image now it's uh, it's time to identify or detect the faces in my image through the face cascade so what i'm going to do is that faces is equal to face cascade dot detect multi scale function in which i am going to pass my image and other than that i can pass several other parameters and one of those parameters is the scale so in the scale you can pass something like um uh, the default value is one but in most of the cases you can tweak with that value and what i am going to use is 1.15 um as i found it to be much better than 1 okay so that depends totally on your use case and you can just try on some examples to understand uh, what scale value works best for you okay so once we are done with that now what faces is it is nothing but a list of tuples in which each tuples um resembles a face which is detected in the image and each tuple has four elements x y w and h so x and y are the coordinates of the top left corner of the detected image so a face is identified in the form of a rectangle so x y are the coordinates of the top left corner and w and h are the width and height so i can just do it like for x y w h in faces so i'm going to um process each face one by one so for now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to put a rectangle around the face just to show you um how um um if my face detector is working correctly or not okay so i have to pass the image on which i want to plot that rectangle and then i want to um uh, um pass the coordinates of the rectangle which are x y and the bottom right corners coordinates which are x plus w and y plus h <coughs> okay and finally um i can also specify the color of my rectangle boundary and i'm just specifying it as blue because it's in bgr format right and then i can specify the line width as well which i'm setting as 2 so once i put that rectangle around that image i can just do cv2 dot im show function in which i pass the image okay and after that i can wait for i can wait for the user to press enter um until then i will keep showing that <coughs> image on the screen so this is the complete code for um face detection okay and it will show you um the faces which have been detected in the image so let's try it let me clear the screen <coughs> and move to the move to the desktop okay so now i have to just call my python script um python3 memify.py and just pass the input image it's void.jpg right so i just write boy dot jpg so okay so we did a small mistake here cv2 dot im show function takes two arguments so one of them is the name of the frame um in which uh, we are going to see the image so i'm just passing it as face detected 
and then I'm going to pass the image right so let's see okay so look at that it works fine right as it detected the face correctly so as you can see that the detected face can be seen in the form of a rectangle right these are x y coordinates and this is w this is h so this is x plus w and y plus h so this is how it works okay so we are done with the face detection thing and now the next step is to paste the mask right so for pasting the mask we need some background right and what is the background background is nothing but my input image but um, for pasting we are going to use PIL and I will have to make a PIL image object for the background so I'm just going to write background is equal to um, image dot open in which I have to pass the path to the image which is just image path okay so I've created the background and also um, yeah okay so that's fine now the next step is to define the mask as well as a PIL image object so it's again image dot open and pass the path to the mask okay now one thing to consider is that um, the size of my mask is fixed but the size of the different different faces which are going to be detected can be different so I will have to resize my mask according to that right so for example here I know the coordinates and the hit, uh, width and height of my face so I can just resize my mask according to that so I'm just defining mask is equal to mask dot resize in which I can pass the new width and height which is nothing but the width and height of the detected face right and I can also pass image dot anti alias so anti aliasing is just a simple technique for smoothing the jaggies which are created when we try to resize some image so this is for that right okay so once this is done it's time to paste the mask over the background so I'm just going to use the paste function so it's background dot paste passing the mask and okay so another thing is that I have to tell um, where to paste the mask so for that I just need to provide an offset and offset here is nothing but x comma y coordinates right so from that is the top left corner um, of the pasted mask on the background so that is what I have to specify and here I just pass offset and mask is equal to mask so basically masking is a technique in which um, the transparency property of the image is restored for example this is a transparent image but when we try to paste it on the background we have to explicitly uh, we have to explicitly set, uh, specify that it's a mask otherwise um, the background colors may interchange okay so that was a simple precaution and now we are done so now finally I am just going to save the background so it's background.save as output out.png right so this is the last line okay so I have just um, written the complete function for creating a thug life meme from a given input image and let's see if it works or not okay so it seems it has worked so let me see output.png okay look at that it worked right so it just pasted that mask um, at the correct place in the correct manner right so it's working fine so let's test it on one more image which is this twins image right um, let's see how it works twins dot jpg okay so the first phase detected is this one this is the second phase detected and let's see the output dot png oh look at that that's cool right so our python program is working correctly and it's making the tug life memes easily um, even if there are multiple faces right so this is a quite cool thing which you can try and um, if you still have any doubts or any queries you can post them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching